Within this tutorial, we're going to have a look at calculated columns. I've already got a view here for tasks, which is showing me columns such as the task name, the percentage complete, who the task is assigned to, and we've also got the start date and the end date as well. What might be useful to see is the length of time that we have to perform the task. So that column doesn't actually exist inside the underlying task lists. So what we're going to do is hit the drop down and choose configure view. And we're going to go straight to the columns tab. And let's remove some of these so that we have more space. So I'm going to remove the completed and let's remove the percentage complete. And what I'm going to do is go through and add a new calculated column. Now we can name the calculated column whatever we like. That will become the column header. So I'm going to call it date range. We can set the data type for the return value and that will affect how we can display the data as well as filter the data. So I'm going to set this as integer. And in the expression box, we can basically go through and build our expression. So I'm going to open up some parentheses and we're going to insert the due date column. And I'm going to take away from the due date column the start date column. So as we'll scroll down here, we can select the start date and insert that into our expression window. And we're going to close the parentheses window and then use the dot total days to convert that into days rather than milliseconds. So as we hit save, that saves our date range column. We can now check that column to be displayed and position it somewhere within inside our web part. And uh, we'll hit save. And notice that we now have our date range column displaying the number of days that we have to perform our task.